I just happened to be driving along and I looked off in this field and uh, big old patch of yucca right here in the middle of this field. It's growing all over the place. So I went ahead and grabbed me a stock. It's been sitting all winter, but uh, feels pretty solid. So I think I'll give a shot at the old hand drill with this. And now I know a spot I can come to uh, gather the yucca to make cordage. This makes really good fine cordage. And also uh, it can be used for soap as well. So that's pretty neat. Don't find a lot of yucca growing around here, but this is a patch that somehow got started here and there's probably 50 plants in this one little area figured I'd just show you guys that real quick something else over here too as a matter of fact there's a whole bunch of it this is asparagus this is last year's growth it's a good way to spot it in the springtime you have to dig down in there to see if it's started. But I'm pretty sure it's still just a bit too early. Yep. Still too early. But it's growing all over. There's a nice patch there. Another really nice patch right here. There's another patch right over there by that big rock. There's probably quite a bit of it throughout this field. I don't have my tripod with me. <laughs> Found this knife too. It's been buried under the snow all winter. It's just a little cheapy. But this is really strong just like it is. You can't even tear it. Even just one leaf without twisting it. <clears throat> There, I finally managed to break it. But this can be twisted up as it is and made into cordage for a makeshift cordage. Or you can, uh, I've never done it to be honest with you, but I believe you either soak these and then pound them and it'll loosen up those fibers. But you can see if I start to tear this apart, all those little fibers. And that makes really nice fine cordage and if you soak it in water it gets rid of that green matter and the saponins and then uh, you get cleaner fibers that way right there there's a nice clean fiber of yucca and then here if you look at the plant itself you can see all the little fibers hanging off which is a telltale sign But it's a good plant for cordage. There's the old seed pods. Now I'm not a, I'm not really that familiar with this plant because I don't find it too often. But I have a buddy down in Georgia. He told me these uh, flowers are edible. Although I'm not too sure if I would want to eat them. But hey, it's you know something to look into. Just want to give you a look at that. It's a fairly distinct plant. And I think most people know what this is, but I just happened upon it, figured I'd show it. I've heard some varieties of yucca get a really hard tip that you can actually use as a needle. So you have a needle and thread all in one plant, but I've yet to find a yucca that has that sharp, hard tip. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I was just out for a, a drive and a hike and uh, was coming home and saw this yucca plant beside the road and figured I'd stop and do a video of it. Anyway. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support.